Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be diagnosing the EVAP leak on my Ford F-250. And um, I've already gone ahead and replaced the gas cap, uh, a new seal on the gas cap uh, in the cap itself, and also the purge solenoid, and that did not fix the issue. So there is still a leak somewhere. And to make it easy for myself, I went ahead and uh, I knew I needed something like this. This is a, a AutoLine Pro smoke machine. It's going to inject smoke in the system and it's going to basically uh, billow out where it's leaking. Uh, this is the easiest way to figure out an EVAP leak if it's not the common issues like a gas cap or the porridge uh, solenoid. Uh, so I want to show you guys the basic kit here, what comes with it. This is the version that has the built-in motor. This is the AutoLine Pro and it's a very simple system. So it comes with this hose with an aluminum nozzle. You get the, the actual motor and the the canister itself then you got this hook up here with a switch three-way switch don't mind that uh, and it basically operates off your car battery or your truck battery so you hook that up there's an inline fuse here you've got a generous amount of lead a three-way switch um, to operate this you would go to heat only for one minute and then break over into heat auxiliary which will give you all that smoke um, you want to fill it up with this uh, special smoke fluid, which I think is just mineral oil. So that's going to get poured onto directly onto the wick inside here. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, but this is ready to go. I went ahead and um, bought this optional kit, which is like, um, you know, an adapter kit. Um, it's going to come in handy. It has these like two little rubber stops, silicone stops. So I bought that just as like a uh, an extra. It wasn't really a lot. So... But here you can get a shot of the manual, kind of shows you what the, uh, the diagram is, the layout of the, the actual unit and how it works. Uh, there is a marble, I guess, that you install in here. You just drop in there, and that's to give you the fluid level. I'm not sure how that works. That's kind of, um, I would think you would just look in there and see what the fluid level is. But it says to drop the red marble in there, and then it shows you, you know, your hookup and uh, how to turn it on and, you know, and do what it should be doing. So I went ahead and made this adapter because I'm actually going to hook it up right at the purge solenoid. So I took the purge solenoid off and this is going to go inside the EVAP tube that's um, remaining at the, the green clip. And, um, and then I will hook up on this end, this red nozzle here, just like that. And I will feed in that smoke. So I'm going to go ahead now and just quickly pour in the fluid and show you what the internals of this unit look like. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, to open this thing up, you just throw the lever back and then open it right up. And inside there, there's going to be a wick, a big, thick wick. That's what she said. And uh, we're going to pour this fluid directly onto it. I'm going to use this other cap that comes with it, with a nozzle. And we're just gonna squirt it right on there. Yeah, it looks like mineral oil. It's like, like this really thick, thick oil. And pretty much this wick is gonna get heated with this filament here, and then it's gonna smoke. But we're gonna, just gonna pour this all over this wick. All right, I'm just gonna use about half a bottle right now. I'm not sure how much it's gonna use, but you get the idea. Just, just keep an eye on it because you do not wanna let this uh, run dry. It probably will burn out this this coil in here. All right, so we're gonna just do about that much, and then let's put this back on, and now let's go out to the truck and go ahead and start using this and uh, start seeing where we can see smoke appear and um, give us a better idea what's going on. Uh, this should be easy enough to, to close. Let's just do that. There we go. It's nice that it has this hook so you can hook it up on your hood somewhere or whatever and um, have it out of the way. 
So let's go out to the truck now and let's go take a look. All right, so just if you're curious, this is the code that I'm getting. Let's see if this thing will focus. So I'm getting a P00455 and a P0457 large evap leak. And it says one says uh, gas cap loose. Um, no matter what, even when I clear these codes, they come back. So especially the, the P0455, that's the one I, I usually get. But I literally for a while was like, you know, just every day erasing the code and, and on the way back from work, it would come back uh, no matter what I did. So even cleaning and lubing the gas cap didn't do it. So as you can tell, I'm at this stage and now um, we're off to the next step. All right, so let's take a look at the setup. Here we have the canister hung from the hood. You want to keep that canister level. Uh, that way the wick gets all the fluid, uh, you know, nice and evenly. Um, and then I have it hooked up here right to that evap connection on the manifold as you can see Nice solid connection. It has an o-ring inside that fitting so we should be good uh, And then I rung it all the way to the battery to get the power simple as that So I'm gonna go ahead now turn this thing on and warm it up for one minute and then you can go switch it over to that uh, heat auxiliary and it should um, start projecting smoke into the connection there, into the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, see if I can see any smoke and then show you guys what I find. All right, so I did find where the leak was and I'll show you that in just a moment, but I wanna show you the operation of this and what the smoke looks like coming out of the nozzle. So I have it on heat only and then I'm not gonna now switch it to heat auxiliary and it turns on that pump and that's what you what the smoke looks like so let's go take a look at the leak now all right so here is the leak uh, so we're behind the spare tire right underneath the bed and I believe that's called the uh, the vent valve cap so there should be a kind of like a check valve on that and obviously it's faulty because I, as you can see it is just billowing smoke so that's where my large leak is so I'm gonna go ahead now and order that part and replace this part and get this truck back in in operation and not have a check engine light because of an evap leak and now I can get my sticker so that's great <laughs> 